Let's check out the top five tank destroyers that I have built in Sprocket. Starting with this one right here, the 100 ton tank destroyer. Okay, so this thing was built on a chassis of a normal tank uh, that I decided to add a huge gun to. This has a 175mm cannon, and uh, it's actually pretty effective. So let's get ourselves a tank out and destroy it, because that's its job. Alright, the tank that we will actually be testing most of them on is obviously the King Tiger. Let's let it shoot us first, and then we will uh, shoot back. Luckily, we can actually shoot multiple times, because this fires once every few seconds, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Let's go see how fast it is now. Side note, it is actually able to cross trenches relatively easily because of how long it is. Uh, it's decently fast, and it is actually decently armored as well. The other thing I would say is it actually looks pretty cool too. I like the tracks being exposed on the front. Looks nice. Okay, so we're on the roads. Let's go ahead and get ourselves driving down it. Currently, we are at 33 kilometers an hour. Honestly, that's not very fast, but for a tank destroyer this big, it weighs 100 tons. <laughs> um, I would say that that is not too bad. So we're currently up to 44 kilometers an hour and still accelerating. We'll stop once we get to the end because, uh, yeah, I don't want to drive off of the map, obviously. So we're continuing. Here we go. 48 kilometers an hour. We are in the highest gear we've got, which is 8th, which is insane. We are almost at 50 kilometers an hour, which honestly is not terrible at all. Here we go. 50 kilometers an hour. Not bad. All right, well, that's number one. Let's move on to the next one. This right here is tank destroyer number two. This has a 600 millimeter caliber gun on it, which is absolutely massive. And essentially the gun is the main bit of the vehicle, which I thought was kind of cool at the time. It does seem like it's a bit dumb, but um, I kind of like it. So let's get ourselves the enemy and see what kind of damage it does. All right, there's the King Tiger right there. It will probably destroy me if it shoots, let's see. Doesn't want to shoot, doesn't want to shoot, it's getting a bit close now. <laughs> that was getting a little bit too close for comfort. But uh, I would say this thing is probably squishy, but um, pretty good. Also, side note, look at the fact that we can just put our barrel around a King Tiger's barrel. That's madness. That is madness. It's now time to see this thing speed, so let's go ahead and floor it down here. Honestly, I don't see this one being very fast whatsoever. <laughs> um, and it's not really about the speed, to be totally honest. It's a tank destroyer. It doesn't really need to be that fast. It just needs to be able to take out a tank, because that's its name. Uh, we are currently up to 36 kilometers an hour, though, and that seems like it's pretty much max, which um, I would say pretty slow, to be honest. Okay, our next tank destroyer is this one right here. It actually has a 320 millimeter cannon on it, which is, um, you know, pretty crazy. Uh, but not as crazy as the last one, to be fair. But yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and put this up against a King Tiger and see if it can kill it. Okay, so the King Tiger is right in front of us. We are gonna see if we can destroy it. So we're gonna shoot straight there and... It did pen, but it didn't actually kill him. It does take us two minutes to reload as well, which isn't the best. Also, this thing is slow as balls. Uh, I don't know why he's not shooting me back, but he isn't. So there you go. He missed his first shot. You can see he chopped down that tree. But, um, yeah, there's not really too much I can do here. And I'm not going to test its speed because it's just really slow. So, I don't remember building this thing right here, but this is something I think I ended up building on stream, and it is pretty insane. It has a 152mm gun, let's go ahead and spawn in a King Tiger, and see what kind of damage we can do. Never mind, we've just been killed in one shot. Interesting. Let's try that again, shall we? All right, that time we did actually take the round. Very nice. So one thing that I actually really like about this is the vent being on the back. I actually really like the design back here. I think it's pretty sick. Uh, it's very slow though, like it should be, I suppose. And we are gonna continuously shoot this guy in the front until he dies. He's not good, is he? Oh, never mind. There we go. We cooked him off. Interesting. But yeah, this thing is a big boy. Um. 
Let's go see how fast it is, though. All right, so it took us a while to get here, but let's go ahead and accelerate down the road and see how fast this thing can actually get. I don't think it's going to be too quick, but if it beats the previous tank, then I am happy. So we got to beat like 36 kilometers an hour. We're only in third right now, so I think it will beat that. At least I hope so anyway. All right, there we go. It's changed. It's in fourth now, and we are at 34 kilometers an hour. We are accelerating still, though, so we might still beat the target, but not really. This thing is slow. But again, it is a very, very, very heavy tank, so maybe it's not that slow. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this thing. I like the turret. And finally, my favorite. This right here is the Round Turret Tank Destroyer. It is awesome. Actually, I really, really do like it. I'm not sure how big the turret is, though, so let's have a quick little look at that. It has a 120 millimeter cannon on it, which should be able to rip through the King Tiger. So let's get the King back in here. There it is. Let's try and take a round. I'm going to leave that in. You guys can see its vulnerabilities um, because it was designed for mid-war. It actually only has 140 mil of armor, which is um, not enough to defend from a King Tiger. At least not most of the time, anyway. Is it enough to kill a King Tiger, though? Well, I think we're firing APHE rounds at it, so I don't think so. No, I don't think that's going to go through. All right, and I think that's because it's firing APHE. Which is really weird, because I don't know why it would do that. Yep, APHE and APHE. Right, King Tiger again. Let's see if it kills us this time. There it is over there. Nope, we tanked the round. And we are going to shoot back and hopefully destroy him in one shot. Here we go. Boom! Nope, never mind. We did get through his armor, but he is not dead. Let's shoot him again. Three, two, one. There we go. King Tiger down. Beautiful. Let's go see how fast this thing is now. Here we go, right, we are doing the run down the runway, let's see how well this does. Honestly, I don't think it's too fast, uh, but we are already past 36 kilometers an hour, so it's not too slow either. There we go, we're up to 40, very nice, and we are still motoring along. Yeah, I actually really, really, really rate the way this tank looks. It's got the curved turret on the front, it has the opening on the back, it has a uh, machine gun on the top, Fuel barrel. It, it just looks cool. I really, really like it. I think it's really well proportioned, too. Uh, we are up to 48 kilometers an hour. We might even reach 50, which I think makes it the second fastest. But, um, yeah, there you go. We, we've reached 50. Not bad. But there you go. I believe that is actually five. So I think I'm going to end this video here. Let me know which one in the comments down below is your favorite. And um, maybe I'll do some more videos like this one. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.